Hey, what's going on Aaron Gunners? I want to do something a little different for you today. Give you a tour of the studio. And so behind me, you see the typical wall, but we're going to give you the behind the scenes tour of what we do here at the Air Gun Advisor. And when I say we, I mean me, because I'm the only one that works in here on this stuff. I am the videographer. I write the scripts. I do all the testing. It's just me and me, myself, to do the show. Um, behind me, something new that I've added to this is these air guns that I have behind me. These are held up by a company product called Hold Up Displays, and they are a trigger lock uh, display company. And that allows me to have things locked on the wall here behind me without worrying about it being removed without my permission. Uh, that's because I have a nine year old son and I don't want anything to ever happen to him. So I make sure that safety is a priority here in the studio. Um, I'm gonna step back a little bit here though, so you can see the wall because I wanna show you something else that you definitely had no idea was going on. So give me a second. Here is the wall that I built. I used pallet wood and two by fours essentially. Before you would have noticed in some of my other videos that I had a pallet wood wall, but there was partitions. There were partitions I could take down if I needed to, but they're just getting in the way. I needed something a little bit um, more substantial, something that I wouldn't get in the way. So I came up with this design of a pallet wood wall, but I also needed a storage solution. So I went ahead and added a door to the wall here. And hopefully that's something that you wouldn't have even noticed on any of my videos. Uh, I have a storage closet here with a safe, but I need some ideas from you guys. Hopefully I have this space back here. And I need some better displays that I can lock up. I got the hold up displays, but I need something that can hold more, including my pellets, uh, camera equipment and so forth. So if you got any good ideas or something that can hold something like that, uh, that maybe you've done, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. The table that you see me doing my reviews at, well, this is a custom table that I made from pieces and parts that I found either out of the trash or some lumber that I picked up at the hardware store. The top itself was a coffee table that somebody uh, down the street was throwing away. And as I was walking the dog, I found it, ran back home, grabbed the car, put the dog in the house and threw this in. And then I sanded it down a little bit, kept it a rough look and stained it. The bottom, I'm gonna get this camera again. The bottom down here has a nice little shelf for storing some things on it. And then again, I use some pallet wood down there for that shelf. We have my um, work table or workbench here where I do mount the scopes onto and do all that kind of work right here. If I need to uh, fix an O-ring and so forth, I usually bring it here to do so. Some other things, you know, watch this. Let's just close this door while we're over here. You can just see how nice and smooth that is. Just close it right up. And it's like it's not even there. Love that, love it. That's my favorite thing about the shop. Um, also built these uh, shelving, the shelving unit here so I could have my compressor and storage some air tanks up in here. And then also other pieces and parts, some targets up above. Uh, and then also added electrical down below so I could plug in the compressor. I didn't have any electrical on this wall at all. And now it allows me to plug in my compressor, my welder. I don't take my saw and use it right here. I take it outside, just way too dusty. And then also my regular uh, air compressor that I have here for tools and so forth. So, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a garage shop that I've made into an air gun, uh, air gun YouTube studio, really. And we like to have a little fun out here too. We got the foosball table. We've got some darts back here. My son has just figured out how to play darts. And we've been out here during our time in, I use the word quarantine, but during our time of social distancing and needing some fun things to do. He and I have been out here playing darts and so forth. Um, we got our sporting goods. We got fishing poles down here. We like to do a lot of things outdoors. You can see all my Coleman lanterns up there. Lighting, I'm gonna point that out. If you are interested in making YouTube videos, lighting is important. These are newer lights. The company's called Newer, and they're on Amazon, a lot of different places, but they are fairly inexpensive LED lights that are meant for studio work, like this that we're doing here for YouTube. Um, some more targets up there. This is what I'm looking at when I do my, when I do my videos. You can see this is directly across. Matter of fact, here, let's do this. You can see exactly what it's like to sit here and create videos, the camera is usually right out here in front, and that's where I'm talking. We got my good friend over here, Carlos. Carlos is the deer, he kind of joins me out here from time to time. Well, 
joins me out here all the time that I'm out here. And that's about it, guys. I mean, uh, if there's something that you saw that you were really kind of curious about, let me know if you got some value from this or just enjoy the content in general. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. I do this purely out of the love of the hobby and my want to share my enthusiasm for the sport with as many people as I can, just because I enjoy it so much. And YouTube and writing and the internet just allow me a avenue to share that with thousands and thousands of people like yourself. Hey, until next time, guys, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight, and we're gonna see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.